the spectacularly beautiful Glencairn Farm just outside Underberg and the start of the 83 kilometer first day to Mackenzie Club. 14 years down and the Cup signing to sea remains a great attraction and a must win race for the country's top mountain bikers. Yeah, I mean obviously you need to stay out of trouble, uh, try and be fast, uh, stay close to the front and yeah, just stay on your bike. Uh, lose a minute, you know, it's difficult to get back a minute at this race, so this race can be won by a minute as well. So you need to always be on key and just make sure you're in the front. A little bit nervous, but no, I think it's going to be fun and super excited to be racing Sony again. I think last time I raced was in 2010, so it's been a while. In crisp, cool Berg mountain air, the first of 11 batches on their way. It's a day littered with sweet sections of single track as they dip in and out of lush dairy farms and giant sappy plantations. Through the oak section and the front of the race being bossed by defending champions based in Buick as a biker Eurosteel, Bell and Combrig of NAD Pro and Wilcock and Kruger of BCX were hard on their wheels. The BG Bison Bridge over Mossbank Dam offered two choices, white bread on the left, carrot cake with chili sauce on the right, those who opted for the spicy side, they were rewarded with a faster exit. Matt Beers and Tim Hammond lost a little ground chewing the white dough going left. The flowing trails through the forest dropped them onto Jared's jaunt, where they hugged the hillside on a stunning section of single track. Charging through the Pevensey Place water point at 42 kilometers, and Matt Beers and Tim Hammond had latched onto the top three teams. In the women's race, there were three contending teams all together. Center Self, De Groot and Strauss, Valencia's Amy McDougall and Sam Sanders, and Dorma Carver's Candice Lill and Vera Adrian. Into the cool shade of the indigenous forest at Kumeni, Andrew Hill and Julian Jessup had joined the party at the front. There was drama in the women's race. Robin De Groot and Mariska Strauss of Center Self had suffered a major mechanical and lost almost seven minutes repairing a cut sidewall to Mariska's bike. On Wapo's single track just afterwards, the chasers Bell and Combrick came to grief, the latter hitting a rock with his pedal. They lost under a minute in the recovery. Wilcock and Kruger moved in behind the Paga Eurosteel pair. Basin Buerkers looked to have carried their race-winning form through from Joburg to Sea two weeks ago as they hammered through the beautiful Alsace dairy farm. Whale and Wilcock asked questions of partner HB Crew as they tried in vain to catch the flying Pigers. The hard men from Nelspreit and the dark hit of NAD Pro were not done either as they pulled back to the chase group. But up ahead, Philip Bass and Matthijs Birkus were the form team of the day as Pygo Eurosteel powered to the finish after 2 hours and 47 minutes of hard racing. It might have been very different but for Combrick's crash as he and Bell led BCX home just under a minute later. It's funny to see as fast than uh, yeah, any gap is, is something and um, yeah, we uh, especially on today, um, but I think we'll see some bigger gaps tomorrow and uh, yeah, that's, uh, we're looking forward to tomorrow, that's where we'll really put the hammer down. The women's race saw Dorma Carver's Vera Adrian and Candice Nietling lose touch with Valencia's Amy McDougall and Sam Sanders on the long drags through Alsace Farm. And it was a tough Valencia pair of McDougall and her partner Sanders who took the stage win just a minute ahead of Dorma Carver. We dropped Mariska and, um, and Robs and then we were riding really with Candice and Vera the whole way until just probably about 5 k to the end. We just dropped them with some of the climbers and yeah, put about a minute into them. So yeah, we're happy with today's ride. Just 44 seconds the gap between leaders Paige Eurosteel and NAD Pro were 9 seconds clear at BCX setting up a thrilling day two. The women's race promises to be equally exciting. 59 seconds separates Valencia and Dorma Carba. In the mixed Olympian and SA cross country champion James Reed partnered triathlon Olympian Marie Rabi to victory in 3 hours 14. The veterans is led by Fanny Fenter and Andrew Cairns who have less than 2 minutes in hand over Paul Turan and Echna de Villiers. Jeff and I are going to get the money shot today. Hey Jeff, what do you say? I don't know if the race was the right one, maybe maybe the trailer was <laughs> adventure. So we got our work cut out for us today, but we are very, very excited. It's my first uh, signing to see. Uh, it's pretty cold today, but uh, looking for a good fast day. It's a nice little track. There's a daze and a haze, in the midst of all my mind. Still lost and hurting, seeking answers I can't find. Time will heal and time will mend the damage to my heart I will grow to know maybe we're wrong from the start Cause even though I knew you were not for me Trying to convince myself
said that this was real And in time it would heal But now I'm petrified With conflictions of feelings that I deep inside I wish at first that I could have realized While inside my head I feel I'm psychoanalyzed impression that I get Make room for someone else to come and share your bed I know you're wasting no time to try and fill the void Suppose that's the reason for the trust to be destroyed Cause even though I knew you were not for me Trying to convince myself that this was real And in time it would heal But now I'm petrified With conflictions of feelings that I deep inside I wish at first that I could have realized While inside my head I feel like psychoanalyzed Psychoanalyzed Yeah With storm clouds and rain rolling in over Mackenzie Club after a fantastic stage one of the Cup Sani to see, stage two and the Umco drop beckons. It's one of the great days on a bike. <laughs> 